Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going? I'm on vacation. Can you guess where I am? Man, I am in Las Vegas. I'm on vacation, so I don't have my usual setup. But I do have a beautiful view today. I just wanted to share with you guys real quick. Check it out. I have these enormous windows here. Beautiful view. Some pools on this side over here. Beautiful mountain range in Florida. We don't have any mountains. So this is kind of exciting to see these uh, cool mountains way in the distance. Look at that. Very cool. But let's get to the cars, guys. Let's get to the cars. I'm here in my hotel room. And I was gonna show you, I brought only one car with me. One Hot Wheels, I brought this one. I've been peg hunting every day that I've been here. This is the only one that I brought just to have one with me. I had to have a Hot Wheels. So let me bring something <laughs> with me, grab the first car I saw. And uh, these are the ones I found the first day. The GTO, the Mustang, and the uh, Corvette. So I have those here with me now. I have this one, and I was peg hunting yesterday. This one I found at a Walgreens close by. Let me go ahead and move all these. I'll pick this one up, show you real quick. There we go, this one is a Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400, which is the electric Mustang. And I'm just gonna spin them around real quick and show you the next car. I'm gonna add that one to the collection. And then I went to a Walmart and I found this at Walmart. They had the uh, Hot Wheels 57, no, 67, I'm sorry. Is that 67 or 57? 67 Jeepster Commando. <laughs> it's a 67 Jeepster Commando. Let's get it out of the package real quick. I had not found this series in Florida yet, so this is pretty cool. I had not found the uh, Stars and Stripes in Florida. And I had not found these uh, cool truck series. I don't know if they're all four by fours or off-roaders. I don't know what they're calling the series. There's no name on the, on the package there. This one comes with a motorbike on the back. Nice motorcycle. We do have a nice uh, bed there. Only a two door. And we'll look at all the de details in a second. It has some Goodyear temper work on there. Very cool. Very, very nice, very nice. So that one's going into the collection. And I also found the, the 56 Ford F100 with the Moon Eyes, the Segundo, California. This one's really nice. What, what's the marking on the back here? C case. Does this have anything? Uh, it's a different kind of marking. Looks like there's five in the set. Oh, wow. I had found this one in Florida. The old 442. I hadn't even looked at the back yet. I found this one in Florida, the Olds 442. So these are the ones that I was missing. The Unimog, the Toyota Land Cruiser, Cruiser, the Jeepster, Commando, which is this one, and the 2015 Land Rover Double Cab. Pretty cool. So here's the Moon Eyes, which I already have this one back home, but I just wanted to have some more Hot Wheels here to open up. I know some of you haven't seen this one yet. The Moon Eyes. So this one's a 1956 Ford F100. And there's no colors on the back, just the uh, paint and same thing on the front, but we do have the stripes and some, some nice uh, graphics on the side. And the next one, let's add that to the collection. The next one I have found up here is the Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300. There's a card. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. And I'm sitting at this really cool desk that they have here in the in the hotel room. Pretty cool. It's pretty neat setup they have here so you can do your work. So this is pretty cool. 75 year of the Unimog. So I have this car at home from just the regular mainline blue card series, which is this one, the mainline. The blue card series in a different color. So it's pretty cool that they made it now in this yellow with different uh, tamper work. see there they have the uh, Unimog name right there 300 on the door it is a left side driver no mirrors on the side on this one 
This is uh, pretty cool. Unimog, they do have some windshield wipers on there. You can see there, molded in the glass. That big number 300 on the front. And the name down here, does it have a name down here? Mercedes-Benz Unimog 1300. So it's 1300, I wonder why it only says 300. I'm sure there's a good explanation for that. The Unimog name right there, a couple of lights painted in, I like that. The Mercedes-Benz badge right there, very cool. And we see the exhaust over here, I think it's this one right here. Pretty nice. And look at all those uh, little logos there. We have the Bell, Coney, and Hot Wheels. A couple of stripes, two spare tires toolbox and whatnot over there in the back and all black plastic back here the muddy tires pretty nice tires and the wheels all brown in the middle there with a black stripe around the edge nice details on this one looks really cool you can see inside very nice here's a top view have those ridges on the on the roof there. Very, very cool. The Unimog. I'm glad to have it. And here we have a 1967 Jeepster Commando. This one's copyrighted 2018. Here's the base. Very plain base. Do have that Hot Wheels logo right there in the middle. Tires are also, the tires are very skinny. Muddy tires, very skinny. Muddy tires, <laughs> those skinny ones. And it says, like, looks like it says Earl on there. I thought it said Eagle, but I think it says Earl. Might be Eagle, Eagle Motors. Maybe they cut the G short there. It could be. I don't know. It's Air, Earl Motors. You can see it right there. Earl Motors. It's an R. We do have little mirrors on the sides of this one. Oh, wow. Look at that. The lights are tampled in really nicely with it. a lot of detail. And then we even have the little parking lights. Very cool. Here's a little winch, electric little pulley there. The windshield wipers are molded in the die cast. And then we have the vents right there. A nice, nice big fat stripe there. Goodyear name on the sides there. Look at all the mud splatter everywhere. Very cool. There's the Jeepster name. Only two doors on this one. And we do have kind of like a sunroof, it looks like. I don't know if it's supposed to be a rack, but it looks like it's a sunroof. At least for him, it's a sunroof, but you can see right through it. And there's the motorbike or the motorcycle right back here. Nice. I love the glossy red color. It looks really good with the, with the mud splattered all over it. Very realistic looking. Very, very cool. Man, I really like this one. This is so cool. So I have them. The Unimog and this one, and then I have at home, I have this one, the old 442. So I'm only missing the Land Rover Defender and the Toyota Land Cruiser. So I got to find those two. Hopefully these sets arrive again. Obviously, they were out if I had found that one, that one uh, car. I didn't even remember that I had to find these uh, Jeeps and trucks, whatever. Here's a little more details on on this uh, panel. 56 Ford, it does have the exhaust showing on each side here and going all the way to the back. Very cool how they show that. And there we have a little more detail look at the exhaust as it comes out the back end here. Two nice doors on the back here. Gray disc wheels on this one. Taller tires in the back and they're pretty fat. Look at that, fat tires in the back. Skinnier tires in the front. Big, big, nice uh, engine in the front here. Really nice blown engine. Do have a chrome interior on this one. And it's a left side driver. Let me know if you already picked this one up or you're gonna pass on this one. Hot Wheels and then Hot Wheels again. It says Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Body Shop, El Segundo, California. <laughs> I gotta tell you here, the weather in Vegas is not like Florida here. It's very dry. My, sp my skin's been cracking everywhere. I, got, I just got some moisturizer. I'm putting some moisturizer on this morning. It's a lot more humid in Florida. We have 80% humidity when I left. 
Here, humidity is only 13% in Las Vegas, but pretty cool town, Las Vegas. Having a lot of fun here. Check it out, there's a Ford, the electric car. Ford Mustang, doesn't even look like a Mustang, right? Plastic in the front here. Does have a plastic base. The Mach-E, that's what it says right there, Mach-E, for the electric vehicle. Ford Performance. Here's the top view, let me back off a little bit. There we go. Top view on this Ford. Have you passed on this Ford or have you picked it up? Has the big wing. Let me know, guys. I know I'm a little bit running a little behind on answering the comments, but I have read all the comments up to date. I just didn't answer everybody yet. I haven't had time to sit down and write out some comments for everybody. But keep them coming, guys. Keep coming. Keep uh, leaving comments about what you have found and what you haven't found. Some cast of detail. Oh, I thought it was a pony, but it might be something else. Is there a pony in front? Yeah, there it is. Little pony right there in front. I'll bring it up closer so you can see that. Can you make it out? There it is. It's like a light blue outline. Against that black, it's kind of hard to see. RTR, Ford Performance. Beautiful. It is a left side driver. No mirrors on the side of this one. That big wing in the back looks amazing. <laughs> that is a really big wing. Very cool. Love it, love it. So here we go. We have all these right here. This right here. And picked up this GTO. If you didn't see it yesterday, I showed this one in yesterday's video. Picked up this GTO from the Stars and Stripes series, which I really love. I picked up the Mustang. Here it is again. For those of you who haven't seen it. Mustang. What is it? Uh, let's see. 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Very cool, right? A little more of the details. There's the exhaust. Really nice, and the Mustang. And I got this really cool Corvette yesterday. This one's really, really awesome. I love the glass on it. Looks really cool. I think this Corvette came out really, really awesome looking. Really, really nice. This one's a 84, 1984 Corvette. Wow, there's the exhaust on the sides. Very cool as it comes down, and there it is. Pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I think this vet looks really good, really good. Love it, feel like I can jump, I can jump right in it and take a cruise. <laughs> cruise down the Vegas Strip, the Las Vegas Strip. Very cool, and this is the one I brought from home, it has the saw blades on it. This one came with a track, I think, that I bought a while back. Very cool, and it has one of those uh, boosters where the cards speed up. 2013 Mattel, made in Malaysia. I was looking for the name of this one because I can't remember. It has like a fantasy name. But pretty cool car. Kind of looks like something you would see in cartoons or something like that. Some animation movies. Very, very cool. I love the stripes on it. The orange color looks great. And yeah, I just wanted to have a Hot Wheels traveling with me. And cool, very cool. So here we go. So far, I'm building a quite cool of a collection here in Las Vegas. Uh, I do have some new ones here and some that I already have back home. But let me see, one, two, three, four, five new ones. I have these two and this one I brought from home. So these, these are, these two I have. And of course I have this one, but these are all new. So I have been able to find five new ones. That's Pretty cool. I didn't know if I was going to be able to find new new Hot Wheels that I didn't have back home. So that's pretty cool. Very excited to get those. Let's see what today brings because I'm going to make a little time uh, to stop some at some stores and see if I can find anything else. I did do some peg hunting, so I put those in my shorts. A lot of peg hunting. I found a lot of unusual vehicles that I hadn't seen before, like a Las Vegas tour bus and a couple others. And... Uh, 
So you guys will get to uh, see those if you check out my shorts. Let's go ahead and put some of the new ones up here. Maybe the Corvette and this one right here. You can see the highway back there. That one is uh, I-15, I believe. It's called the Las Vegas Freeway. And we have the freeway back there. It's kind of weird because the light is on the other side, so you can't really see. But All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out this uh, view and all the cars today. And I'll be here for a little while longer, and then I'll be heading back to Florida. And I think today I'm gonna go visit the uh, Paris Hotel, which is over there, and Bally's. I already went to this one right here. That's the Bellagio. There's the Rio over there. And the Palms way in the back. And the Strip is right over there. That's the Strip, and those are the famous fountains where that water is, famous fountains. Those are a couple pools from the Bellagio. Let me show you a little close-up of the Paris. Those are the fountains right there. They're off right now. They turn on every half hour but they don't start till about three o'clock, I think. And let me see. Oh, there's a reflection of the light here in the room. I can't see it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.